everybody. I love you, you love me, we are as happy as can be. I'm giving a Valentine's Day shout out, so you'll be seeing this by Valentine's Day, and I hope you make sure to tell the people that you love that you love them. I love you. Message from your Valentine angel. Oh, my new uh, resin molds. And you know I'm on a resin roll, right? All right. So first, just want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. And if you don't have anybody special in your life, I want to tell you I care about you. And I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And you're having a healthy and happy new year in 2021. Fresh start, right? And I just wanted to show you briefly my newest and latest tutorial. I had a blast painting this. As you can see over there, I have a horse painting back in the alcove there, which is something I did for my husband a while back. We have horses. I'm not a cowgirl. I'm a city girl. But I love all cowboy-ish things. I love saddles and... Uh, cowboy boots and things like that. I just love to look at them. I think they're beautiful. The artistry that goes into them. And so that's what inspired me for this tutorial. And it is the cowboy boots tutorial. La la! It's a 9 by 12 This is available. I'll put it in my Etsy store. But if you take the class, with any class, it's $35 on another platform besides YouTube, and the link is always below the video. If you do a subscription, you get better prices, and if you do the uh, yearly subscription, you get a free painting from me valued at $150 at the end of the year that you do your subscription. You have access to all of my classes if you do a subscription. Otherwise, if you just do a class, it's $35, and I provide you a materials list. You get a traceable, so you don't have to know how to draw. And I show you how to transfer this onto your canvas. Super easy with a pencil and a ballpoint pen, nothing special. We use about six or eight paint colors. I use Deco Art, but you can use any color you want or any brand you want. Let's put it that way. We walk through each step of the painting one brush stroke at a time and I tell you my thought process on why I'm doing what I'm doing how to get texture and shading and uh, I share you a lot of my secrets from painting for 20 years or so so I hope you'll check it out the class will be below the video and of course I have to share my latest resin things since the two weeks before. These are kind of mishaps. I've got a, p a pair of two yellow sparkly coasters, cork on the back. This was kind of a snafu of errors and um, they're not perfect, but they are heat resistant to 500 degrees and they're available if somebody would like them. Message me, email me, Sandra at sandralet.com. I recently did these coasters, which are so gorgeously beautiful. They're kind of like a deep midnight blue purple sapphire. And they have these beautiful peacock abalone shell, seashells in the center. I did these, and this inspired me to do my freeform bowl. So here is my bowl. I use kind of the same colors, the same beautiful seashells that are peacock colors, and um, it's a good 12 plus inches long. I know it's, I think the highest point is about 7 or 8 inches. It's really beautiful. It's like an art sculpture. You can actually put stuff in here, floating candles, uh, floating flowers. You could put a plant in here. You could put chips, candies. Um, the sky's the limit. Or you can just light it up from underneath and what a beautiful sight that would be, right? I made this 
piece right here. It is hollow, so it sits, and you can put a tall or a shorter uh, LED candle. You could put a real candle in it, but I don't suggest that just because there's been kind of crazy weird things that sometimes happen with people that <clears throat> leave fire near resin for too long. So I don't want anything like exploding or doing crazy stuff. It is heat resistant to 500 degrees, but I don't want you to push it. So what I did is I got an LED candle and put it inside and it really looks pretty. You could also put a small electric light inside and let it light up or put it on a base that lights up and it goes through it. Oh, that would be pretty. So this was inspired by a, a candle that I have in my bedroom. And uh, it's very organic and earthy and I just love it. I think I think most people have seen it, but um, this little Barbie doll chair, business card holder, cell phone holder, and square coaster holder. This one I can only get two in because I have all the bling on the arms of the chair. So you can only get a couple in there. But if I didn't have the bling on the arms, it would hold four square coasters. So this is already made custom for someone. I took one of my peacock coasters and painted it out with different colors. And I think it turned out really pretty. So I think I may embed this in a tray or a bowl as kind of the centerpiece of it because I love peacocks and I have found out they have very significant meaning. So if I do a video, I'll share that with you. I have in my Etsy store, I have a couple of sets of the beautiful peacock coasters though that do just uh, have the sparkle glitter, gold edges, they're really, really beautiful. All the coasters I make are heat resistant to 500 degrees. This could be a cell phone holder. It can be a coaster holder. It can be a business card holder. You can put four square coasters inside of it. So this is really cool. It's in my Etsy store. And then these are some coasters I made that are so beautiful. And they are kind of blue and rose gold on the back gorgeous colors together while I was making another one of those Barbie doll uh, custom rose gold chairs somebody else wanted another one too I made a set of coasters from the resin and they're super beautiful and sparkly rose gold gold edges and then they have a little bit more of a marbled kind of look on the front sides Almost, they kind of almost look like dragonflies or butterfly wings or angel wings. So these are really gorgeous and they are in my Etsy store. Also in my Etsy store, these are still available. They are the uh, kind of mother of pearl cellophane iridescent thick gold edges. They have a different look on both sides. One looks a little different than the other. And it depends on your lighting. They change colors. It's really cool. They may look blue-green. See there? They go from green-yellow. They have pink tones. It's, they're amazing colors. So these are in my Etsy store. And then I did another one attempting to do like a black opal. And these are really cool. There's like little divots in them with the uh, cellophane kind of showing out and through it. And uh, really gorgeous. And then you turn them over and you have this nice luscious, um, you see how the colors change depending on how the lighting is. These are just multifaceted colored, beautiful coasters, gold edges, okay? I did these a while back and they are so gorgeous and they're still available for all pink lovers. Glitter on the back, 
so you can spark or spark or spark them and gold accents beautiful little 3d flowers pink and gold they're really pretty so the other day I did some blue and white with some bling in the middle and these have sparkle in them can you see that sparkle in the dimension of the petals chrome edges and then the back sides are just as equally beautiful a little softer wispier look and then a more defined kind of petal look so um those are available and i just finished these i was thinking of something inspired by by valentine's day and i just did this set and they turned out beautiful can you see the sparkle and the dimension and then on the back side they also are extremely pretty on the back side so there's a set of four and then the back sides just have a little bit different look gold edges these are new in my Etsy store and then of course you know I have a Facebook group and uh, I'm on Facebook just as Sandra let Trump feller and if you're friends with me or whatever I have a ton of pop sockets nice pretty ones sparkly ones peacock colors all different kinds There's some with the, uh, the peacock colors and the little shells in them. So I don't have those in Etsy because they're really small items. And usually in Etsy, I do anything in Etsy is going to offer free shipping for $35 and above. And I wouldn't be charging $35 for these unless you bought like, you know, maybe five to seven of them or something like that but if you're interested in any of them I've got lots of them and I'll try to put some pictures on my Facebook uh, regular Facebook page and if you see something you like you can message me and tell me which ones you like so I also am ready to do another giveaway it's about time again just something special any suggestions what would you like for me to give away would you like a free print a free tote a free tutorial lesson coupon what would you like to have as a free gift I would love to know comment below leave some suggestions and I love you all I'll see you on the next video hugs